Okay, now the economy. As his speechwriters, well, they're getting ready for the president's State of the Union address next week. A political seesaw continues to sway during President Obama's sixth year in office. On the one hand, the stock market at an all-time high, but his approval rating near an all-time low. And despite the surge in the markets, a new Gallup poll finds this. 67% of Americans say they are very or somewhat dissatisfied with the way wealth and income distribution is working. So what is the president going to say next week that can help turn things around? Stuart Varney is here now, the host of Varney and Company. All right, Stuart, if you're writing the speech, what can he say? I'm going to distract attention from the state of the economy and from the chaos of Obamacare. I'm going to attempt to unite my party around the issue of income inequality. It's not fair, the president will say. I think he will propose policies like tax the rich. That's fair. Keep the safety net. That's fair. Raise the minimum wage. That's fair. Open up opportunity by keep on investing in education. That's very fair. I think he will play that card. Income inequality is bad. I will set the record straight. I will set things around. I'm the fair president. I but think that's know, what he'll say. But here's, here's the thing, Stu. You and I have known each other for quite some time, and we've heard this before. Yes. We've heard this in State of the Unions before from the president, but is he doing it again because it worked in getting him reelected? No, he's not. Well, he's doing it because, yes, it did get him reelected, but it has not worked. During the Obama years, the income gap has grown more widely and more rapidly than under any other president in America's history. In the first three years, the first three Obama years, the income gap, 95% of the new income went to the top 1%. The top 1% had their incomes go up 31%. The bottom 99% went up 0.4%. Yeah, so you talk about these alarming facts and the incredibly poor record by most accounts of this president and the economy. However, one thing that the president and his team excel at is messaging. Now, I want you to look at this State of the Union social media ad that was put out by Dennis McDonough today to get people involved in the State of the Union. I mean, for the most part, it's a boring speech, right? <laughs> Correct. Okay, so they're very smart in the way that they message. They're encouraging people through social media to get involved. Here it is. And to watch, and they have all these fancy and graphics the and ways for people to tweet and Facebook, etc. So, my question to you is, what do the Republicans need to do to try and be up on the defense against that? I think they should turn around and have a policy that says this will work. You want to lift all boats. You want to get everybody better off. This policy will work, and this policy is the policy of growth. You give me four, five, six percent growth in this economy, that will leave, raise all boats, that will create jobs, that will raise incomes, that will fix a little bit this widening income gap. That should be the Republican message. Give us growth not so much redistribution. Well, it would be interesting to see if the Republicans, because they do get to give a speech afterwards, if they also present it to younger people through social media like Indeed. that. We'll yes. have to wait and see. Stu, thanks so much.